Hey everybody, it's me, I'm doing an update, don't I look a lot better than I did in my last video? I'm still positive to, for the COVID-19 virus as of right now. Me and Mark's been quarantined now for uh, about 26 days uh, since March the 21st. Uh, if y'all hadn't seen my last two videos, you need to go watch them. Uh, because I felt like death. I felt like death was coming on me. And if you're not thinking this is anything serious, you better think again. Because that COVID-19... It will make you feel like dying, wishing you were dead. It's something serious. Uh, Mark's been around me the whole time. Uh, I'm sitting here looking out my window. Uh, he hadn't had any symptoms. He hasn't been sick. I think he's, he is one of them that's hard to get sick. He rarely gets sick, but we've been keeping our distance from each other as much as possible. So maybe that has helped, and he has wore a mask around me, and I've wore my mask. And uh, I had to make him a mask that would fit his beard. So I had to uh, design <laughs> him a mask. But... Uh, Anyway, uh, he has a very good immune system. And yes, I've got me some notes wrote down here, so I won't forget what to say. But uh, he has a good immune system, so I guess that's why he hadn't been sick. But uh, he had to come out of work because I had the COVID-19 virus. It's not cause his job shut down, but it was because they didn't want to be around him because he was be he was around me. So they made him stay home. So he's been quarantined with me. It's been hard, no money coming in. But I've been praying. We've been surviving day by day. I've been praying for Jesus to help us, and he's supplied our needs when we needed it. Maybe not how we were used to, but he's helped us. But don't leave yet. I want to tell y'all something very important. It's about the COVID-19 virus. It don't come on everybody the same. It's not the upper respiratory system on everybody. It didn't do me that way. I started out with a sore throat and a raw tongue. That's all I had. And then two days later, I started getting, uh, you know how you act? or how you feel when you get the 24-hour stomach bug, the cramping, the throwing up, the diarrhea, nausea, everything like that. That's what I had. And on the 28th, I went to the, March the 28th, I went to the doctor. All I had was the throwing up, the back pain, and the cramps, and the sore throat. No congestion. No sign of stuff, no coughing, no anything. Well, they tested me for the flu, strep throat, and the coronavirus. Well, I tested positive for strep throat, no flu. Flu was negative. I waited 10 days and between them 10 days, I was felt like I was on my deathbed. It was horrible. 
Well, on April the 7th, uh, what was it? On uh, April the 7th, the doctor called and told me I was positive for COVID-19. And all I had was strep throat and thrash in my mouth. No ep upper respiratory problems, no sinus stuff, no nothing, just strep throat. But still, I had this stomach bug that lasted two weeks. Cramping, throwing up, nausea, back problems. But they didn't care about the stomach bug, the throwing up, or nothing like that. But uh, on April 17th, and I was really surprised I was positive. Because I had been around nobody sick. We had already been staying home before I got sick. We had just went to the grocery store and Walmart. But, uh, anyway, uh, they gave me the Z-Pack of antibiotics, 500 milligrams per pill, and it was only five days worth. I was on that. I was slowly getting better, but my stomach was getting worse. So, uh, on April the 10th, I started getting a fever. And my respiratory problems started then. And uh, I started feeling like I was getting bronchitis. Heavy on the chest, the coughing, coughing up stuff, getting the fever, my face hurting, my sinuses, and everything like that. And I couldn't get my doctor on the phone because it was Good Friday and it was Easter weekend. They wasn't in. So I called them on Monday. I went in on Monday, had a chest x-ray done. I didn't have pneumonia. I had bronchitis and sinusitis. So I am now on my second Z-pack of antibiotics. And today is what? Uh, today is Wednesday the 15th, and tomorrow is my last antibiotic pill. Uh, that med is so strong that it upsets your stomach a lot. Uh, I'm almost back to feeling normal again, as normal as I can feel. Uh, if only I could just leave the house. I might could feel better. I have left the house twice. That was to go to the doctor. Yay. Well, wait, wait a minute. I did ride around the corner to go to the store with Mark. I had my mask on. I just got to get out of the house. He had a mask on. He ran into the store to get cigarettes. We've been using my son as our go-getter. He'll go to Walmart and get our groceries or go to the Johnson's and get our groceries or run to the store and get our cigarettes and stuff, but he'll just bring them to the porch and put them down and let us get them. And then we go to wiping down everything, wiping the counter down, throwing the sacks away, wiping the food down, washing it, washing our hands, but other than that, you know, uh, but anyway, uh, I go back on April the 18th, which is this coming sa uh, Saturday, to take the COVID-19 test again to make sure I'm negative before they take me out of quarantine. But I have to wait again in quarantine until that test comes back negative. And I'm hoping it comes back negative. This time I get a different test done. The first test was a pipe cleaner up both nostrils into my brain. I say that because it, it was horrible. 
I mean, it felt like they went behind your eyes and got a bopsy. Woo! It was horrible. It hurt. But uh, this time it's going to be a throat swab. And uh, I've got to be symptom free before I can have that test. And as of right now, I am feeling almost 100% better. Except I have a little bit of a runny nose. I don't know why. I'm coughing a little every once in a while. But anyway, at least I don't have fever. My friends, I'm getting better. <laughs> I finally can smile. I look alive. I've looked back on my two videos before this one, and I look like a dead person. Woo! But, uh... Anyway, I wanted to thank everybody for your get well comments. I'm sorry. I wanted to thank all y'all that has been commenting get well soon and asking me how I am and that keeps wanting to know how I am. I've appreciated y'all a lot. I watch y'all's videos. I might not comment on y'all's is, but I do watch them. I watch all of them. That's what's got me through this sickness. Watching my dumpster diving buddies. Okay, I'm gonna end this. Oh, y'all see my hair? I'm back to purple. I'm Karen again. I'm purple dragonfly. We had a bad time last night. Uh, if you remember any of my videos, seeing our black dog in our videos named Brownie. Last night, we thought he was passing. He, he's almost 20 years old. He has seizures. He's a uh, uh, blind, deaf, couldn't hardly walk. Lately, he had stopped eating almost, and he wasn't drinking out of his bowl any water hardly for the past three days. Last night, we thought he was passing, and we stayed up with him. Then this morning, he just couldn't even move. And so we let him go outside, and he fell down the steps and just laid there, and then he went into a seizure again. And we just couldn't take it no more. And so uh, we took him to the Humane Society, and they put him to sleep for us. Uh, all the vets, we couldn't... We couldn't pay that high price to have him put to sleep. But the Humane Society done it for free. And they come out to the car and let us sit there with him while they put the needle in his arm. And we got to talk to him, which we know he couldn't hardly hear us probably. But he didn't move an inch when she stuck him with that needle. And I guess within, I don't know, three, three minutes, he was, he had passed over to doggy heaven. It hurt us a lot. It was a hard decision to make. Sometimes in life, you have to make decisions that you don't want to make. That's what adults have to do sometimes. <clears throat> but anyway, 